everyone. So I should be coming to the end of my unpacking finally from what we picked up when we were in the States. I had unboxed some of these products um, in the US um, because if I hadn't, there was a possibility that I could have been charged through customs if they viewed it as an item that I might resell in the United States. So um, here they do have a couple of small craft stores. They have one called Juan Marcet, which is kind of like a Michaels, but it's maybe a quarter of the size. Um, the craft stores here mainly have um, things for basic drawing. Um, they carry Faber-Castell. Um, they carry, I have seen a Silhouette Cameo. That's at a totally different store. And I've shown that a little bit here and there on this channel. Um, so they're sparsed out and there's pieces like at an office store and then there's these very small specialized stores. Um, there is a painting store that has um, gel medium and watercolor and all that. And that, that brand that they carry is Windsor Newton. So I can get quality products here. The paint products for Windsor Newton, I would say are just a little bit more than what I would pay in the States anyway. Um, so that one's not too bad. But as far as scrapbooking, um, planners, um, any of those scrapbook lines, mixed media lines that are coming out in the U.S., I can't get those here. So those are what I packed and I'll show you, I'll attach the unboxing videos that I did while I was in the States. Those you really can't see much anyway because they're all blank because I haven't put anything in them yet. But those are the items that you'll be seeing on this channel this year since I picked up all these items to do videos regularly on this channel. So um, the first thing that I got out of the crate here is the Vicki Booten um, mixed media album. And this one is detailed in uh, one of the clips following. I also kind of double stuffed my Vicki Booten zipper pouch um, with other things so it wouldn't get too crushed. I kind of made it nice and fat. So I have some little things from Daiso um, and some little cards to give as friends. I think I got this at Kinokunia. Really cute. So um, those items I just kind of packed in there so they wouldn't shift and get lost if customs went through my crate. And they did go through my crate. Um, all the cut off tie wraps that I had on my 17 gallon crate were all cut off. I also put my Midori Traveler's Notebook in here. This one is very special because this is the olive edition that I couldn't find anywhere online. Every time I jumped online, the store was sold out. Um, but this was a brand new bookstore that was opening in the Dallas area and they had these tucked away kind of behind the plastic sheeting before their grand opening and I saw them underneath that plastic sheeting. They didn't know what I was talking about. They didn't know why I was so excited. The new employees there, and I just kept saying, you don't understand. <laughs> so I was very happy. I will do a separate video on this particular setup. This is my everyday traveler's notebook that will be going with me. I also got the Jane Davenport traveler's notebook. This is the blank one, the butterfly. And um, inside of it, you'll see this in a later video here as well, I put the um, inserts that I got in here along with the extra folders. I needed to bring some vinyl. So I only brought one color this time. Um, these usually last me quite a while. Um, it's two sheets, 12 by 24. So um, there's a couple of DIY projects that I want to do for decorating here, um, but I've also seen some videos on using contact paper. Contact paper is something in all colors that I can get very easily here in Ecuador. So I'm going to try using that and I'll post some tutorials on that to see how well or not well that works for me here since that's an easier product for me to acquire here locally. Um, otherwise, I have to bring back more of these with me from the States. I also brought my whole kit. This is what I store. This is an iris box from Michaels. 
I have several sets of my project life in here. Um, when I first moved here, I only I brought one box similar to this. Um, and these are my favorite sets. So I went through all the containers that I had in storage and I brought back the ones that I thought I would want to use for my daughter's senior album. She graduates in May of next year. Um, so we're going into senior year. And I saw a video by Becky Higgins that shows um, how to document your child's life with one spread for each year of their life in one album. So I thought that would be really nice to have at her graduation party. So that's another series of videos that you're going to be seeing here is me working on her senior album um, to have at her graduation party by this time next year. Another lifesaver that I picked up was at Hobby Lobby. I got the refills, I used my 40% off coupon for it. And then at Walmart, I got the actual tape runners themselves. Um, these cannot be found anywhere here in Ecuador, but this is the fastest, quickest, and easiest way for me to put um, Project Life and scrapbook projects together. So I made sure to pick up an extra supply of those. I'm really loving all the mixed media and Bible journaling, so I did get this mixed media by Dina Wakely. Brought a couple of clear acetate sheets. These are ones that I'm going to cut down to put in my traveler's notebooks. I just got a couple of those. I don't like to fill my traveler's notebooks with too much stuff like that. This is vinyl transfer paper. So this is for when I do cut out my words that I can easily place it on the wall or in my case it's probably to place it on a canvas but I want it to go on straight so um, I got this one so I can try to do that. I don't know how much of that I'll use. We'll see. I brought this album because it has all of my page protectors of Project Life. I don't just carry Project Life. I do also have, let me show you, I can pull a couple of them out. I do also have some of these by Snap um, because these are large, oh, yeah, those are four by four and then all the center is three by four and then the bottom is four by four. So I can print out a variety of sizes with my Canon selfie printer. Um, so I don't limit myself to just four by six or three by four. Um, so I do have a couple of other companies, what do you call, page protectors in here in addition to Project Life. This is not the album I'm using for my daughter. Um, this one is just so I could get everything here. The actual album is that black and white camera album by American Crafts that's been out for many years. I bought that a long time ago specifically uh, planning to use it for her. Um, she kind of likes the darker colors, so she's not very, doesn't like all the girly frou-frou colors. So there may be some girly pages in the baby part of her album, but the outside will be black and white. So here we go. Um, again, things that I can't get here, the Vicki Booten uh, tissue paper. This is so neat to use on sprays. Sorry, they weren't my coffee maker. Um, these collage papers, in essence, they're napkins um, that you use on mixed media. I did get these magic wands. In essence, they're coloring pencils. They're colored pencils. Um, I do have Prismacolor, but my other daughter has pretty much hijacked my entire case. So this one has pretty much everything I would use. It just has the flesh tones for the portraits that I'm wanting to practice. I haven't done portraits since I was in, in um, high school, in art class. Um, I took a lot of after school art and things like that. I really enjoyed doing portraits, but I haven't done them probably in over 20 years. So don't timestamp me. Um, I also got the Jane Davenport washi tape. So these have the eyes, nose, mouth. They're just fun to use. Picked up the journal tapes. These are great to go in mixed media, to go in between the spine so that things don't leak through. And again, it may, it may end up repeating myself in some of the additional clips that I'm gonna add at the end of this video when I actually did the un unboxing of these products when I was in the States. There's some more Vicki Booten products. 
And let's see. I'm trying to find stuff that I did not include in that video already. Here we go. Okay. So this is the other thing I finally got to bring with me this time. So happy. These are my thickers and then different embellishments. Everything from, I think most of you know what thickers are, but I'll pull one out just in case. So, you know, the colored puffy letters, the puffy cardstock letters, gold lettering, um, all of those. And then I did get some of my flair. This is the Lucky Charm collection. Um, I found the little Project Life kit with the gold foil um, while I was in town. So I did pick that one up. Um, just some little things that I just can't get here. These are sparkly rhinestones. I've had all of these in storage. These were in my craft room back when you first saw my videos in the States. Um, so these are the items I decided to save because I knew I wanted to use them in this Project Life album that I'm going to be putting together. So you'll be seeing more of these products as I pull them out. I'm probably gonna have to organize them a little better so that I can find things more easily. Random photos. Oh, here's a back in the day photo of me and my husband. I happened to stumble across that in storage. That's while we were dating. <laughs> I did buy a couple of pencils just to try them out. I got the Stabilo Carb Othello in the gray. Um, I heard that these work great for mixed media, so I thought I'd try a color or two out. So that's that one. And then I got one Ink Tense pencil, and it's in black. So in essence, it's an ink pigmented pencil um, that you can use in mixed media. So I didn't ever have any of these, so I just wanted to try them out, so I only bought one of each. I found a Maggie Holmes. Um, it was on sale, so I went ahead and picked it up. Um, I have a lot of Maggie Holmes already that came with me in my Project Life kits. I also have a lot of digital kits, so I can already do print and cut on my Cricut to combine with these papers to use in my daughter's album as well. Thought I'd also pick up some flat stickers. Um, so these are mainly gold foil and black. I think I already had white, so I didn't pick that up, but um, I wanted some additional gold foil since so many of the Project Life cards that I have have the little flicks of gold here and there. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to have some lettering on the cards in gold foil as well. Last but not least is there were three um, different companies that contacted me while I was in the States that I was really excited about. Um, this year, if we can get the product into Ecuador, we'll have to see what happens. Um, I was selected to join the Craft Tangles uh, design team. So I'm a design team member for them this year if the product can get delivered. So they shipped it from India. They are a craft store in India, kind of like Michael's, and um, but they specialize in crafts and they are gearing towards mixed media this year. They've released some new stencils and things like that. So I should be getting my design team package here in the next couple of weeks um, if everything goes well with customs. This is our first experience of trying to ship something into the country. Um, another company that contacted me, I am to do a, I need to find those items. I am a guest designer for the month of September um, for Renea, I believe is the name of the company. They sell a foil, um, and it's like a foil that you can emboss, um, but you can also fold it, kind of like origami. Um, so that's gonna be really neat. So that's my September uh, one that I'll be in. And there was also a survey uh, post that on Instagram from Studio, let me see if I can find her name here, littleteastudio.com. So please check out their website. I will be posting layouts of how I'm using these in my planners, but let me just give you some examples of what her little stickers look like. So she has these. I thought those would be perfect for laundry day. Um, she has these cute little summertime umbrellas and things like that. This one's really handy 
reminding us for cleaning day, vacuum cleaners, all kinds of things there. These are cute for any girl. I love the little coffee cups, eyeglasses, it's all cute. And who of us doesn't like Happy Mail? This is one of my favorites. This is a cartoon that she's released. She does these herself. This is um, the Pay Bills, style 205A. I'm sure many of us have had that expression when we have to pay our bills. And then, on the other hand, she gave me the contrast. Payday, super exciting, really cute little ballerina. And then this one was very practical for us because it features travel day. And we have a lot of that going on right now in our family, um, going back and forth. She also does these, and this is her summer kit that she just released. Um, these fit perfect in your planners for the um, Me and My Big Ideas Happy Planner. Um, these are the size for that, probably also your Erin Condren. So um, check out her, I will link her below. It is again, little t, the letter t is in Tom, studio.com. So those are a couple of happy announcements I have. Hopefully everything works out as far as getting things here. Um, but whatever isn't able to come with the products that I do have here, I'll be able to post um, videos for you every week. So thank you so much for watching, and now I'm going to put some of those excerpts of the video footage I did take in the States, just unboxing some of the Jane Dav Davenport and um, Dina Wakely and Vicki Booten items in more detail. Thanks for watching. I ordered from Blitzy.com. Love that website. If there's any items that you see at Michael's or Joann's Hobby Lobby that you really like, you can find it on Blitzy. But what I really love about it is that, um, say you find a paper pad like at Hobby Lobby, here's one. Say you find this Maggie Holmes crepe paper or American Crafts. Um, the big box stores like Joann's and Hobby Lobby, they don't always carry the entire designer's line say the embellishments, um, the cardstock stickers, the um, enamel dots, um, the paper clips. You may not be able to find the entire line at your big box store, but you can go to blitzy.com and order the accessories to match the paper that you were able to buy on discount at your local store. So that's a, one great feature about Blitzy. The other is um, if you refer friends, with a referral link like the one I have posted below, what Blitzy will do is on their first order that they place, you will get a $10 credit to your account. So if your uh, friend uses your referral link, then um, you'll be able to place an, an order for your items at a discount. So it's really nice because they reward you for sharing the word, but they really are a very good, reputable company. I only had a problem with their shipping, I'd say maybe two times when they were experiencing growing pains. Um, but I emailed customer service and within 24 to 48 hours, they completely resolved it for me. So post below if you've also ordered from Blitzy below and let us know your experiences of uh, what you thought about it. If you have any questions about them as well, go ahead and post a comment below and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. So let me show you what I purchased. I got some mixed media items because these are the types of items and art that I can do easily in Ecuador. Um, I can get paint, I can get gel medium, um, I can get watercolors. Those are very easy products for me to get there. So I've decided to switch my focus around and I'm still going to be doing scrapbooking this year. You'll get to see that. Um, but for my everyday things, I'm uh, doing more mixed media. I did start on that mixed media canvas that I've been talking about before I left the country and I did video some of it. Um, there is a sneak peek on my Facebook page if you want to check that out. Um, I didn't get a chance to post the video yet because I didn't finish the canvas yet. It's about half done right now. So a sneak peek of that photo is on my Facebook page if you wanna pop over there and see it. I'll post the link below. So I got a few Dana Weekly 
Wakely. Dana Wakely items. One is her new mixed media journal. What's nice about this one is it has the craft paper, which is nice and thick. It has a canvas paper. No, this one is a watercolor paper here. It has burlap. And it does have canvas, here we go. Here's the canvas. So it has all different types of textures that you can really play with. And um, the spine allows it to grow. I love how the spine on the edges has the little fibers that stick out. I don't know if you can really see it well in this lighting. It's pretty bright right now. We got the Texas sun going on. Um, I also got, I don't remember if I got this there. No, I don't think I got this on Blitzy. I think I found this one at Tuesday morning. It just randomly ended up in my pile. But I thought that was a fun uh, dauber there. Um, the last two for Dina Wakely is this mixed media tape. These are great to put into the spines of your books to prevent um, the paint from bleeding through to the other layers below. And the last thing that I got to try out is I saw these mixed media scribble sticks. Again, if you've used these, please uh, link your, um, your post, your YouTube video below, or let me know if you have a blog or a Facebook page that we can check out what you've done with these products as well. So that's it for the Dina, w Dina Wakely items. I'm having the hardest time with her name today. Um, the other is Vicki Booten, and this one, just really appealed to me a lot because she's originally a scrapbooker as well. Um, she loves mini albums. It's really right up my alley of what I've enjoyed doing over the years. So she's taken a combination technique of putting mixed media together with scrapbooking. So she has some mixed media products such as these glazes. This one is the iridescent glaze. So it's kind of like a pearl, um, pearl or opal. She also has it in silver, but I didn't pick that one up. I picked up the iridescent and the gold. This one I'm using on a mixed media canvas that I'm planning for in my living room. So after I finish the mixed media canvas of my daughter with the butterflies that I'll be posting, uh, this is my next mixed media canvas. Okay, so the first one that I'm going to show you is this album. It has a canvas binding that goes around the edge and then this is craft so it's a sturdy thick craft album and when you open it it's a small d-ring I think you can see better from this angle here you'll see the d-rings so it does come with some of its own papers so all of these white papers that are in this album are the original ones that came with it it comes with four dividers. This is mixed media paper. And in between each divider is three sheets of paper. It looks to be about three. Yeah, I believe it's three sheets of paper between each divider. Next is the craft inserts. Now, I was mistaken when I purchased this set. I purchased this set because I really liked the set of the mixed media um, mixed media refill, um, and you'll see that next in my other binder. Um, but this one is actually very different. They do have the plain sheets. I want to say there's six, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, there's eight. So there's eight regular craft sheets. Now I love this craft paper. It's nice, thick, sturdy. It'll hold up to paint, gel medium, sprays, just fine because it's nice and thick. What I didn't care for too much are these two pages here. Um, they have pages that fold out and flap in the white, but the edge is actually the same width as the rest of the pages. These are actually like these pages here folded in half. So that I didn't care for too much. And mine is folded crooked as well. So not too crazy about the craft set, but I'll show you the white mixed media set. That one is really nice. 
I do like these pockets because they're nice and thick, so you get two of those as well. So it's two craft pockets, and the back side is nice and plain, so you can do whatever you want on that side. So really, it's just these two that I'm not that crazy with. So these I'll probably just cut down and make tags or something like that out of them. I can, they're still very useful papers, just not in the form that they decided to put it in this particular package. So that's one of the refills that fits perfectly inside this binder. The pages are exactly the same width as the original pages that come with the binder itself. And you don't wanna overpack it because as you start adding your art and your embellishments, um, it's going to fill up really quickly. So if you like to have your album even like this, then I usually only fill it about halfway with actual papers. Okay, so the other thing is they say that all refills fit into the turquoise binder. But when you put them in, the holes fit great but the paper is actually slightly longer. Um, I think as long as I round these edges right here, um, I can probably then zip this shut. The holes fit perfectly and the height fit perfectly. That I already tried out with the zipper portion, but this, these two corners stick out of the binder. So the only way to zip it shut is to, um, clip these corners off and, and round them. So I might do that in the future. We'll see what we end up doing with that. Um, this binder comes empty. It does not come with any mixed media papers or anything like that in it. So this pencil pouch is sold separately and you can add that in there. You can store your stencils in here. Again, this is really meant more for um, to take your supplies with you more than it's meant for these papers. But these are the papers that I thought were really neat. This is the mixed media pack. So again, you get, I wanna say eight very thick cardstock sheets. Then, this is what I love about the white set. It's the exact same width as all the other papers, but it has this nice huge flip out. And then it folds in a way that it doesn't interfere with the wing with the rings. So I really like that. I think you get two of those that go horizontal and then you get two that go vertical. So these flip up and then they have the three rings and again that flap doesn't interfere with the, with the rings at all. So you get two vertical and two horizontal and eight plain pages plus the backs of these are all plain. So the quality of the paper is really nice. It's very nice and thick, perfect for mixed media, um, especially if you use a lot of liquid with your mixed media. You'll really enjoy the quality of these American Crafts Vicki Booten um, papers. Um, but I wanted to make sure to show you what I was able to find on Blitzy, and I hope you check out that website if you've never had a chance to see them before. So the Traveler's Notebook that I decide, or the Butterfly Book from her that I chose to get is the blank canvas. Um, I really like the idea of being able to paint it yourself. She has some beautiful ones if you're wanting your cover to just look nice and perfect. She has one with a really pretty face and a butterfly on the girl's neck. And then she has another one that's a mermaid. And I forgot, oh, and then the other one has these girls on it. It has three of them but I chose to go with the blank. These are the bands and the charm I decided to go with because that red hair and that style of dress reminds me of my daughter. Looks very similar. Um, they did have the mermaid markers, but I have so many items that I can already color with. I have Lindy Stamp Gang's Magical Micas and I also have Gelatos, so I can go matte or I can sh go shiny with what I have. So instead of getting all the different colors of those mermaid markers, I just went ahead with the water brushes because I also um, have some Ganzai Tambi watercolors at my place already. So I just need something to paint with. So I got two of these water brushes, Jane Davenport water brushes. Um, they also had the washi 
washi collections. So this is the five sheets that are inside of this one. And then these are the five sheets that are inside of this one. I really like these pockets. I have several traveler's notebooks for different purposes. So these folders, there's four in here and I can use them interchangeably between my other traveler's notebooks that I have already. The one thing I was looking high and low for, this one even at Michael's was hard to find. It's her mixed media napkins. She calls them collage papers. Yeah, they're called her collage papers. But if you've been in mixed media for a number of years, you'll know that you can take any printed three ply napkin, take it apart and use that first layer, the one that's printed and use Mod Podge or gel medium, whatever way you want to adhere it. And what it does is you'll see the color on top of the color that you have behind it. The white turns almost transparent so that you can see the background through your tissue paper. So it's really pretty. So she had all these different splotches, she has faces and different colors. Okay, so I took the canvas book out of the package. It is, I wanna say a little bit wider than my Midori Traveler's Notebook, but I like that for mixed media because it bulks up. So I just hung the charm on the side. Some like to hang it here. Um, as much as I open my elastics back and forth, when I first started doing Traveler's Notebooks, I had one there and it drove me insane. Um, so I much prefer to have my charm on the side. Every person's different, dress yours up however you want to. So when you open it, it does come with one book. My book is in here um, and it's like the marker papers. It's a mixed media paper and it is stapled together. It's just a blank white notebook. This is one of those folders that I showed you um, that I had in that package. So all I did was wrap it around it and then put the elastic down the middle and then I have both together right there. Now on this side I have one more elastic. Now there's other ways that you can bind more books in here um, that I've done many times with my traveler's notebooks. Uh, this particular one right now I'm keeping pretty thin. So I'll have this one and I have one more going in. But let me show you something. When you unpackage the papers, the these are the marker papers and these are the watercolor papers. When you unpackage them, they're going to be these individual sheets of paper that are just folded in half. So what you do with these is you just open them up and you just stack them one into each other, just right on, right on that seam. So they don't have a cover. You can either choose to um, color one of these fronts and backs to make them your cover or all I'm doing is taking another one of these folders and I just put it right in the middle of that folder and then stick it into the elastic right down the middle. So let me find this one's middle. That would be this sheet of paper right here. Stick the elastic down there, fold it, and it's in your book. Now, for those of you who know Traveler's Notebook Company and Midori's, you may like your papers completely flush. When you do it this way in this mixed media one, the papers are uneven. They are not completely even. But the nice thing is this particular Traveler's Notebook, the Butterfly Effects books, they are wider than our traditional Midori Notebook. So even though those papers may hang over the edge a little bit, it's okay. It's still well within the cover. At least for me, it doesn't bother me because they don't protrude out too much from the cover. So let me just stick this in here real quick and show you what it looks like. This one is the watercolor set, the watercolor papers, and then I just put another one of those folders around it. And then I just slide it into that elastic to where it's in the middle. And then I have two notebooks in here now. 
two notebooks and two folders. Really pretty, really easy. So if you're just wanting something simple, uncomplicated, that fits, these work great. So I really love this for art. That's what this one is. It's just meant to be an art journal. I will continue to do my posts of my Ecuador Traveler's Notebook. That's been my love and my passion this year to be able to share um, the beautiful sights of that country with you. Um, it's been a privilege for us to be able to be there. It's been absolutely amazing. So I will continue to do those videos as well. Um, but I needed to, to stockpile and get some new materials to be able to take with me for when that book gets full. Um, I did purchase another Craft Midori book while I was here, Traveler's Notebook, so that um, I could continue with those since that refill is already half finished so far and we've only been there half a year. So um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy your Jane Davenport and follow along as I have posts in here. If you've already put your Jane Davenport um, binder together, please let me know about it. I've been trying to search for videos. I've seen a lot of people who put their notebook together, but I haven't seen many who've actually used their Jane Davenport notebook. So if you're using yours, please post your link below, your blog, your Instagram, wherever you have photos or videos, because I would definitely love the inspiration to see how you're making your Jane Davenport faces and portraits as well. Well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.